guys, today I'm going to be soaping with Brambleberries Quick Mix that contains African black soap crumbles. And you can see them going into my mixing pot there. The batter or the um, base oils are a lot darker. So African black soap is really fascinating. If you go onto YouTube and research that a little bit, it's such a beautiful, beautiful methodology. And Brambleberry partners with a cooperative of women there in Ghana that makes these African black uh, soap crumbles and sells them to Brambleberry. So it's kind of two birds with one stone. I really love to support uh, other women, especially in different cultures and different countries and just seeing the beauty of the products that they're making and being able to have a little part in seeing how soap is made there. Obviously, what I am doing is very different from what they do. Um, but the cultural, the cultural beauty, it's just, it's so lovely. And this batch did not disappoint. It definitely accelerated on me a, a lot faster than I thought it would. And that wasn't even because of the fragrance oil, because it was accelerating before I poured the fragrance oil in. So if you're going to try this, that would be my one my one thing to um, just be watching out for is you may not be able to get as intricate of a design if you're looking for something quite intricate or if you soap a little cooler. This uh, mix, it's really cool. If you've never ordered from Brambleberry one of their quick mixes, they come in a heat safe bag and you can just pop it in the microwave or in a double boiler and just melt the oils right in there. But this one was semi-liquid, so I didn't really have to melt it very much. And you can see the acceleration is very notable. And um, I wanted to get a nice fluid like in the pot swirl, but this is going to be a, more of a chunky in the pot swirl. So yeah, it's still going to be pretty. But the fragrance that I used is from the Midwest Fragrance Company. It is called Bum Bum and it is heavy on the coconut notes and vanilla notes. It does have, I believe, just over 2% vanillin, but I didn't want this to be a super heavy scent. I, I really wanted the African black soap crumbles to be the highlight of this, not the scent. I just wanted very light scent. And so I did less than half of the scent load that I normally do for this, um, this size batch. And I'm really happy with it. Like the scent does come through. It's just a nice, pleasant, creamy, and I'm sure that it will darken up because of the vanillin or with time. But since I didn't use that much, it shouldn't be terrible. This is a frosting comb. And obviously the soap has accelerated so much that it's really hard to get any kind of top design. But that frosting comb is really rigid and worked really well on this top. So I spritz it with rubbing alcohol and I'm ready to cut. You can see the air pockets where um, it was just unavoidable, honestly, with this one, with how much it accelerated. But I I'm not disappointed because it's such a rustic look anyways. It's just gorgeous. So you can see those little um, African black soap crumbles in there, the little brown specks. And the in the pot swirl, honestly, is not that bad. So this stamp I got on Amazon. I think it was under $25. It is a customized stamp. It has my business name on it. I didn't really want anything super fancy for my business name stamp. I just really wanted it to be legible. I don't have a logo necessarily. Like I, I have a logo, but not one that would be easily put onto like a stamp in a way that I would like it. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll do that. But today's not that day. So this is my customizable biscuit stamp. I got this on Amazon as well for about $5. If you look on Amazon and just search for um, customizable, customizable bi biscuit stamp or just biscuit stamp, you'll find a lot of different options. And um, yeah, some of them are nicer than others, but like I said, this one was $5 and uh, it does not disappoint. I have used this thing for three years and it's been going strong. 
It's been going strong. Yes. So I did share my work in several different soaping groups that I'm a part of online. And a lot of people were up in arms because this is not African black soap. Let me tell you again, this has African black soap crumbles in it. The entire bar is not African black soap. It is in a base. It is in a quick mix that you can purchase if you are a maker and would like to from Brambleberry. They have a lie calculator that you can formulate um, your recipe for the size, depending on the size batch you wanna make. So this one was the 33 ounce quick mix and it was perfect for that little uh, purple mold, kind of the classic, you know, the one that you get on Amazon. Most beginners start with that one. And honestly, I have other molds, but um, I use that loaf mold the most. I just, I just do. So there it is. I'm so happy with how it turned out. That activated charcoal is just a really nice contrast. And like I said, I think that creamy color will darken a little bit with the fragrance oil, but not much. So I'm still trying to decide if I want to list these in my shop or if I want to keep them all for myself because they're so lovely. As always, my name is Martha. I'm the owner and operator at Blue Haven Soapery. You can find my items at bluehavensoapery.etsy.com. Thanks for watching, guys.